Controlling your drinking. <clears throat> Why would I talk about controlled drinking? The rational answer is because attempting to control your drinking is one of your options. Until now, I have mentioned that option, but have not talked about it much. Basically, your options are number one. Continue drinking like you've been doing and see what happens next. Option two is to change your drinking behavior and habits so you can continue to drink. Options three and four are about abstaining. But not everyone voluntarily chooses the goal of abstaining. They do not want to do it. About 18 million Americans have alcohol problems. 30% of Americans drink excessively with binge and heavy drinking. 90% of heavy and binge drinkers are not alcoholic. Many people realize that they are drinking too much and that their drinking is having a negative effect on their health, relationships, and their performance. At the same time, they do not want to stop drinking. Many people want the option of controlling their drinking. Not everyone can achieve controlled drinking. We do not assume that everyone who misuses alcohol can achieve a sustained pattern of self safe drinking. But as a goal, controlled drinking is acceptable. And it is a realistic goal that is equal to the goal of abstinence. Whether or not you can achieve control over your drinking has more to do with self-efficacy rather than how much or how often you drink. Self-efficacy is your belief that you can do it. Self-efficacy is the strength of your belief in your own ability to do, to do something. People who strongly believe that they can control their drinking are more likely to succeed. I provide treatment for controlled drinking. I provide you with some options to work on controlling your drinking. First, there are links on my website to an online computer-directed program that can help you. There are online support groups and community-based support groups that I provided links to. You may choose to work with me on controlling your drinking with the above or without them. I provide you options in treatment. We can work on behavioral self-control, moderation-oriented cue exposure, or guided self-change. We can combine the three approaches and tailor them to you. Using medication to help control your drinking is another option. We would start with an interview assessment and a general symptom screening, along with a controlled drinking self-efficacy assessment. We want to outline where you are now and where you would like to be in terms of your drinking. I will provide you with some alcohol education about the health effects of alcohol on your body. You are the one who chooses how much or how little you want to be drinking. That is not for me to choose. Someone else telling you how much you should be drinking 
is less likely to work if it is not what you want. If you choose the amount you want to decrease your alcohol drinking, that makes it more likely you will succeed if we make that your goal. If you're married or in a committed relationship, we can include your partner in the process if you choose. Support and understanding it in the home can go a long way with time spent in reco recovery groups. And support and understanding in the home can be very helpful for people who do not want to attend recovery groups. There is a way for you and your partner to process the effects of alcohol on your relationship. There is a way to develop a plan together to make things better. Controlled drinking ha help has been around since the 1960s, and it has come a long way. Controlled drinking is now a goal that is equal to abstinence. And if you find that you are unable to control your drinking, then you may be more likely to choose abstinence. Or you may continue heavy drinking like you have been doing. What you do is up to you. Thanks for choosing Rational Therapy and Recovery.